Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm right here with a new Ford Focus station wagon ST Line 2022 version. And in this video, I will make the full review interior exterior. So at the end of this video, you will find out everything about this new Ford Focus. Before I go forward, I want to give you some technical data, some information about the car, and then we will start the review outside and inside. Now, guys, if you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland, check out Tehash Willy in Bern. I will leave the link in the description so you can check them out if you want to buy the car or see the car or test drive the car. Check them out, guys. And as I said before, I have with me the new Ford Focus Station Wagon. This is the mild hybrid version. It comes with a one liter petrol engine, Eco Boost, and it's the ST Line X version before i go forward very important for you guys here in switzerland the price the basic starting price of the car it's 33,800 francs with all these options right here you can pause the video and read it but if you want to add some extra optional stuff like for example i have right here on this model the styling pack 450 francs you can add the winter package 600 francs it's incredible i mean i totally recommend to get this 600 pack because it come with heated steering wheel heated seats and also heated windshields you will have the windshield the glass in front of you heated you press a button and in two minutes you defrost it in the winter it's very helpful also it comes with this beautiful glass roof guys that i will show you later it's all over the roof it's it's just gorgeous and also you can open it up the half of it and it's only 1200 francs extra that's another option that i would take it if i would buy this car then the car come also with a hook so for example if you have a trailer you can get the hook for 150 francs 18 inch rims they are 400 francs you will see it i will show you when we go outside normally it comes with 17 inch rims this model but they have optional these 18 inch rims that look so perfect on the car perfect it give that extra age of, of sportiness then the car come with a bang and all of sense sound system 500 francs extra really good job with this sound system really good hi-fi sound it's really good inside the car family package to 150 francs i don't know what it's about that i'll have to check out normally the price of the car is 38,050 francs but here at tehash willy you have a 3,050 francs discount so the final price will be 35,000 francs i will add the price in the so you can make an idea so relatively good price in my opinion i will give it an extra plus for the price because you will see guys what this car offer and what is the price it's a good deal now let me go a little bit deeper and give you some more technical data so as i said this car come with a one liter petrol engine eco boost three cylinders in line and also it's a mild hybrid system that means it has a 48 volt battery and a small starter electric motor that help the engine the petrol engine sometimes and together the maximum power it's 125 horsepower 170 newton meters it's a front wheel drive and all this power is connected with a six-speed manual transmission i was super impressed with the transmission with this stalk it's worked really good when you change the gears i will show you a little bit later check out also the test drive video in the test drive video i'll talk a little bit more about that it's really good this stalk for changing the gears it's super good the consumption combined consumption vltp 5.3 liters also if you want to find out what was my consumption in the test drive check out that video probably it's already on the channel if it's not just check out next days also the fuel tank capacity 52 liters the co2 emission vltp 120 grams maximum speed 198 km per hour 0 to 110.4 seconds also the ground clearance 11.8 centimeters the car come with ventilated brake this on the front brake this on the rear also the turning rate radius 11 meters and very important for you guys is that the car trunk capacity 635 liters and if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1600 53 liters very very practical you will see a little bit later when we go also worth notice that the car come with independent mcpherson suspension coil spring with anti-roll bar on the front and multi-link coil spring with anti-roll bar on the rear those are the most important information guys now let's go to start the review and in the end we will make the conclusion all right guys first of all let's start with the key this is the key the same key as ford use it on fiesta it's a small key the same size as my finger so it's super light super small and what you can do with the key of course you can lock 
and unlock the car as you can see right here the car come with electric folding mirrors that's a great thing also it comes with keyless entrance that means if you put your finger here you can lock the car and if you try to open the door it's unlock automatic you don't have to press those button you just have to have the key in your pocket another thing that you can do with a key it's press two times this trunk button and open the trunk automatically and as you can see it's worked really fast it's one of the the fastest trunk ever on the market these days also you can open it up and close it by pressing two times the key button that's really cool now let's go forward all right i'm just starting the engine right now i want to make a tour around the car also i turn on the light so we will see these new lights and new design talking a little bit about the exterior design in my opinion i'm super happy by the way that the car it's white and we can see all that lines and new changes that ford brings on this uh, focus and I have to tell you guys, this SD line looks really sporty. I love the lines, I love the sharp and curve and edges and front design, the, the down skirt, the rims, the 18 inch rims look phenomenal on the car. I totally recommend you to get those 18 inch rims as optional because they look fantastic. I love the shape of the car. Look at the lines on the side, on the upper side, the roof spoiler, the design it's it's lovely i mean it's it's a proper it looks like a proper uh sporty car i'm really excited to see the st line the proper st line in the future i think it will look even much better look at the the bumper in the back guys it looks really nice really really nice and the spoiler i'm a big fan of the spoiler another thing that i noticed guys i'm i'm not so tall i'm 173 centimeters and look at this guys the car is not that tall it comes i think around here that means it's it has a great aerodynamic and 11 point eight centimeters the ground clearance it's really good and i think it has a great aerodynamic you can get some great great consumption out of the car and i will show you later because here in the front it has some air intakes that help the consumption you can see the air will go outside here will go inside around here so it adds some extra aerodynamic uh, elements on the car that make the car even more efficient i should say we have a glass roof a beautiful glass roof all over the roof right here uh, we have these black roof rails we have the radio antenna that looks lovely in this glossy black uh, plastic very nice integrated there i like very very much i'm a big fan of this roof spoiler look at the lines here i'm glad that the car is white we can see all those lines and sharp edges the white color in combination with the black it's one of my favorite here on the side we have this glossy black plastic here's the brake led lights on the brake we have a wiper we have tinted windows here tinted windows on the side they look wonderful i think the car would look even better if they would add some kind of glossy plastic even here but here it's kind of a rubber guys everywhere here around the car around the edges of the car it's rubber here is glossy plastic here again this rubber rubber matte rubber it looks nice but i think with that glossy plastic it will bring a little bit of more fanciness i should say anyway but overall this upper part of the car looks phenomenal also even this design you will see when we go inside that you have a lovely lovely visibility because of these windows here on the driver's side we have the tank and we have the easy fuel that means you don't have to open any cap you just put it in and push the button you can see right here the indication very useful so great job ford one of the unique car that use this system i like that very much other than that you can see some lines some muscular body here on the side they try to increase a little bit the size here on the wings it's a beautiful car also the the bumper down there with two exhaust pipes looks super sporty the down skirt here guys look at is the down skirt it's sexy and nice it's an extra plastic here that looks really really good on the car also they add some kind of plastics around here to protect uh, this paint of the car so that's really really helpful by the way the handles those are the handles i think you already know it good quality on the handles also when you close the door this is the sound i like the fact that they add a lot of rubbers here and here and on the upper side that's a good thing that's a good thing this is the mirror it's a white mirror here the legs are in a plastic matte plastic led light on the blinkers here 
Now we have an LED light down here to illuminate the floor in the nighttime. Here is the mirror also, good size, I should say. So you have a good visibility. It's not that big, but it's a good size. Also, it helps probably the aerodynamic of the car. They make it a little bit smaller. Now here in the back, you can see the light. I can see a little bit of changes here on the light. They make it a little bit darker. So this plastic here, this plastic glass, it's a little bit darker. Uh, but I love the fact that we have only LED lights on the fog lamp. The tail lights, it's LED. I love the new design. But the turning signals, if you look closely there, it's a normal halogen light. I don't understand why. But yeah, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, also, if you look closer there, the reverse light are LED, so that's something to keep in mind. Anyway, this is the design. It looks quite good, quite, quite good. And also the brake lights are LED. I don't know if you can see them inside there, but this is the light. Design, it's nice. They can even improve it a little bit more in terms of lights, but it's relatively fine. I like even here in the back, the way it says focus. Then we have the reverse camera, LED lights on the number plate. That's another good thing. We have EcoBoost hybrid, so you know which version it is. Uh, and down here, the bumper look phenomenal. Look at the bumper, look at the lines. Uh, some reflection light here. We have four sensors, sparking sensors on the rear. Going down here, the white lines look beautiful the bumper is beautiful you have two big exhaust pipes and vibrate like a proper sporty car looks nice going forward here on the side guys i tell you before it comes with these 18 inch rims that you can buy it optional they look perfect with the car i think they fit just perfect in terms of sportiness you can get bigger or nicer than this. They look super nice. And also the brake calipers are red. We have normal brake discs on the rear. Then in the front, we have ventilated brake discs, the same red brake calipers. And yeah, look at them. They look nice. They look nice on the car. Really, it's the perfect size as well. Of course, if you get uh, a smaller one, you will get even better comfort over the bumps and even better consumption. ST line on the both sides, so you know, this is the ST line version. The car comes with the camera there and sensors to read the traffic speed limit, lane assist, all that. Safety features, the car comes with all the safety features, adaptive cruise control, emergency brake, lane assist, and uh, yeah, all that features are on the car. Look at the hood, also the hood, quite sexy a few lines there that make the car look super aggressive from the front side and then going in the front we have a grill a glossy a grill made by glossy plastic looks super super nice i like it big entrance here to cool down the engine let the air go inside there and also if you look closely guys i don't know if you can see on the camera it has some pedals that are closed right now they will open and they will leave more air to go to engine for example right now it's cold that's why they are closed so it not leaves too much air to go inside but when it's hot the engine it will open it will leave more air to go there to cool down the engine so smart system the ford logo in the middle other than that i think it's a nice design down here we have a radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake all that safety features here is the radar we have the same air intakes and the same pedals that are closed there if you look closely so great system they add on this car on this new focus four sensors in the front as well some glossy plastic here on the side and some air intakes as you can see here it's an air intake i don't know if you can see uh, further than that but yeah that's something to keep in mind other than that beautiful design even down here sporty nice nothing to say it's just for st line it's just perfect i'm curious to see the st uh, but ST line, it's it's just a nice car, and even in this shape and station wagon shape, estate shape, it looks lovely. This is the exterior, guys. Um, the one more thing I want to show you here: if you want to open the hood, you have to do it two times, same as on the BMW. And here, you don't have to pull any; just pull it up. It's a manual lift gate here. It's a heavy lift gate. It's a heavy door. This is the engine, one liter EcoBoost three cylinders in line. Those are the array here on the engine bay. The battery, 12 volt battery, here's the filter. And yeah, this is it. Anyway, here, it's something that impressed me. We will find a few new things here that they are really cool. So automatic lift gate, 
you have handles here to close it you have the button to close it automatically now guys i take out that protection keep in mind usually the car will come with a protection and it's very easy to, to put it in and take it out so you will have that protection here i just take it out because it's better you can see it a little bit better like that the entrance in the trunk it's huge i mean you have a huge huge entrance right here a lot of space to put your stuff in in terms of practicality uh, this new Ford Focus station wagon super practical and you have a flat floor here some plastic at the entrance But overall it's big. It's big. It's more than enough uh, For a family here. We have hooks in every corner even here You have some storage space on the right side with the net you have hooks up here grocery hooks that you can close them and open them uh, you have a 12 volt port right here and also you have LED lights two LED lights inside right here that are super helpful uh, then we have this handle to fold down the seats I will show you later uh, another storage space here and the great thing is guys let me show you something you have under the floor right here you have this new smart thing so you can put it like that you can see they make these special plastics here so you can put it like that and it will stay like that so it's kind of a grocery stuff and you can see how many ways you have to to adjust it and to array your stuff so you can leave it like this when you have grocery there and nothing in the back will play around you have also this that comes special from Ford so if you have liquid here it will keep it clean that's a good thing also if you take this out I want to show you something under the floor you still have some storage where you have for example repair kit or for example now it's the bang and all of the sound system but you still have a few few space there to put your stuff so if that's not enough for you guys you can even take this out like this then you have this plastic to put it like that let me show you look at this and then you have again those spaces here where you can put your things under this floor yes i think you understand me that's nice let me put this back really useful really cool the way they array these things it's super practical you have plenty plenty of space here i'm really curious if you don't have the speaker if you have more space down there but overall super practical space very very useful now guys if you want to fold down the middle part for example this one here you can do it from here from behind and you can carry long items like skis you can you can have two person in the back and in the same time carry your skis or long whatever items you have there now the thing is that let me put it back let me show you something put this back very nice and steady the sun is up sorry about the lights now here we have some handles you pull this handle and then the seats will fall down i don't know what why it is not folding down but look at this now it's folding down completely and look at this guys the thing is that you have a completely flat floor you can even sleep here i mean it's such a big space look at the glass roof up there super super useful look at the glass roof it's lovely i mean it's totally deserved to get it and look at the space here in the trunk very nice space very useful space you can fit in here so many things without any problem it's really really big it's really big i don't know if you can see it on the camera but trust me it's super super big now let's go here let's open this door let me show you guys the opening it's relatively big so you have a big opening here inside and check this out one more time from this angle this is the space super big super nice the space also the quality here is good it's a flat floor directly down here you have a small transmission tunnel that's another good thing and you have plenty of storage space here to put different stuff so overall very good nothing to say about that really really good this is it anyway let me put everything back and we will go forward all right guys so before i go forward i want to show you one more thing this is one of the most easiest trunk cover to take out look at this you pull this like that and it's out you look at this it's one second you don't need to to pull it a lot of stuff and you put it back just like this one of the most easiest so great job for it i like that uh, now let me close the trunk let's go forward 
here on the door we have two windows one is fixed and one can be folded down then going to the design of the door it's relatively fine it's not the best design in the world but it's fine here on the upper side we have plastic that's something to keep in mind we have a small speaker we have the handles quite good quality and we have only plastic in this area the only soft material you have it here on the armrest so that's good because here it's really important and you have the handle you have the button for the windows electric windows and then you have another speaker and some storage space and also here we have some stuff material uh, inside there so that's quite quite good quality uh, overall now going inside the car guys here we have a big entrance as i tell you before you can see from this angle one more time the glass roof and you can see also the space here uh, in the interior of the car we have fabric material seats so nothing crazy nothing special here but those fabric material seats they are very comfortable i try them i sit on them we have even the headrest we have some uh, red stitches right here they are super super soft and nice and they are comfy enough comfy uh, for long trips here we have some side support also you have isofix two isofix for charles here in the back even in the middle you have kind of a flat floor for free passengers small transmission tunnel this is a good thing this is a plus for the car and here in the middle we have this uh, armrest with two cup holders very useful behind the front seat we have stuff material with some kind of plastic behind the stuff material some storage space here so it's relatively good let me go inside the car because this sun stop us uh, to see really clear going inside the car once i close the door i notice that you can hear the noise yeah sound insulation is pretty good also once i'm here i have this headrest the comfort is good, I should say, I'm quite comfortable here. The space on my head, four or five fingers. On my legs, I have like more than enough. 173 centimeters I have, guys, so in case you wanna know, I can stretch my legs in the front a little bit. Also, the seat, it's in my driving position, this one. The other one, it's, I think, it's kind of the same position maybe a little bit forward but overall i have a lot of space no problem in terms of space i can complain also visibility outside one of the best one of the best look how big window you have there really interesting how big how long they make it and also you have this extended window here on the side big windows in the front overall very good visibility no problem in terms of visibility it's just perfect also i have a handle a hook here and also a light an led light that's also nice and I have this beautiful view over that glass roof, I mean, lovely. Here in the middle, guys, we have two USB ports, one, two, one, USB two, USB-C, right here, very useful, no vents in the back. Not sure if you can get it on the other version. Once you go in the middle, very easy, you go in the middle, you can stay even with your legs together, that's a good thing. That's really good, really spacious on my legs. Again, I wanna show you the legs room, it's more than enough. Um, and then headroom here, because it's the glass, I have even more space. Uh, stretch my hand on the right side, almost completely. Here, almost completely. But I think you can have three people here, um, even for medium trips, I should say. Also, the comfort here is not bad. It's not that good as on the side, but it's not bad at all, so it's relatively good. Uh, comfort even here in the middle so yeah quite nice quite nice more than enough now we will go in the front guys uh, as well and we will talk a little bit about the new multimedia system and about the things there in the front overall the design of the dash it's quite nice it's it looks really modern yeah not crazy not futuristic kind of classic but in the same time modern yeah anyway let's go in the front we have a big window from one piece that means very good visibility on the mirror then the design of the door it's very similar with what we have on the rear the only difference in the front is that here on the upper side we have soft material soft 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 everywhere soft material then we have this beautiful kind of a carbon fiber insertion effect here i don't know if you can see it it looks really beautiful the handle we have some ambient light inside the handle there even down here soft material again kind of a leather 
feeling and also you can see the stitches here we have stuff material in this area it's really really much better quality than on the rear here we have the buttons for the windows so from here you can fold look at this by the way i forget to show you the window in the back yes you can fold it all the way down that's a good thing many questions from you and it's worked really fast whoa how fast they work uh, also from here you can fold the mirrors you can adjust the mirrors electrically so you have everything right here on the control uh, then we have the speaker bang and all sense speakers big storage space here in the door bands sd line at entrance and then we have aluminium pedals that's a good thing i love the pedals check out the test drive i talked there about them then we have the entrance here in the car you can see from this angle one more time the glass roof you can see those fabric material seats simple seats but comfortable you don't need more than that trust me uh, they are really good side support side support also you can extend them here you have manual adjustments in the seats so yeah relatively simple seats so it's nothing crazy nothing fancy here uh, going forward we have the button to open the trunk electrically then we have the controls for the lights here guys uh, the brightness of the cockpit then we have the fog lamps and then here the controllers for the lights and we have also the controllers for the headlamps i should say now going forward soft material everywhere on the dashboard keep in mind that you have everywhere soft material those are the vents here good quality on the vents as well pretty nice let me go inside the car close the door here visibility around the windows also quite nice um, as i said in the test drive video very good visibility around the windows it's like a proper family car i should say it's more as a family car in terms of uh, visibility than on sporty car anyway look at there in the back one more time the seats here in the middle we have uh, leather also you can adjust this armrest here you have some storage space you can take this out even more storage space there very useful very cool here in the middle center console look very nice most of them made most of the center console it's made by plastic the only soft and leather i think it's around here so you can see also the red stitches but other than that made by plastic here you can close and open this and then you have this push this and move it around you can customize the way you want it you have also an ambient blue light there i don't know if you can see it in the nighttime you can see it better uh, but they are really cool you can adjust them really nice a storage space for the key electronic handbrake auto hold here really awesome those systems are really better and some cars doesn't have auto hold but these ford focus with manual transmission come with auto hold it's incredible i mean i like that really really good look at this stalk transmission stalk to be honest it's one of the best manual transmission stalk uh, I ever tested it goes so easy in the speeds guys I mean it's so so good it feels super sporty super nice it's it's lovely lovely I love this stalk I tell you thank you very much for the really good stalk one of it feels sporty it feels stable it feels good quality by the way when you go in reverse you have a reverse camera quite good it's not the best resolution but nice and useful and big and you have these active lines when you turn the steering wheel so it's relatively good also you have sensors in the front in the back but good job when you drive the car it's really easy to change the gears with this stock now there we have charging wireless charging usb 2 usb c and a 12 volt port very useful that great job i like that as well start engine button here then we have those two lanes parking it says parking that means you can park the car uh, navigate to a parking and you can park the car automatic you have this um, parking assist start stop engine button maximum physical button for maximum speed on the vents uh, when you want to defrost the windows and this button here it's for the different driving modes so the car come with three different driving modes normal mode echo mode and sport mode three different driving modes depending which mode you are the car will react accordingly also every time you change the driving mode you will see a change in the cockpit as well the colors and the graphics right there it looks they will look really different so the sport mode it's quite nice with red and yeah really really interesting here we have some vents in the middle also good quality blinker button uh the glove box it's big actually it's quite huge 
quite quite big glow box i like it overall the design of the dash it's quite classy quite nice ford always try to keep it simple for everybody to use it and also you will see even though this huge i think it's around 13 inch screen it's really big it's very simple to use and they try to keep it simple for everyone can use it i mean it's not only for the tech people it's just for everyone you will see that why the car is very simple to drive very simple to use everything it's very simple to reach out even though they they change and we don't have any more physical button for the climatic system all the climatic system it's here um, it's very easy to reach out and to change different function you don't have to go into menu because you have everything here the heating on the seats are here the climatic uh, it's here the, the heating on the steering wheel it's here uh, then you have those vents where you choose the the van speed it's here you can turn it off very simple like that you can put it on auto you can choose from here also uh, if you want to extend the climatic system and you go in next climatic system and you can choose for example defrost the windows or you can choose forward or downward so you have a nice graphic and it's very simple to use that's why i like it and you have the dual here you choose it's, it's very simple you press this button you turn it off so you can get used with it very fast that's what i want to tell you then guys i want to tell you that this window come with defrosting windshield i think you can see those little lines there that mean you have defrosted windshield in the winter it's gorgeous you go here you press this button and boom you wait two minutes and the windows the window in the front will be defrosted it's it's so that easy that easy guys really good feature yeah that's simple everything is down here in terms of climatic system so on the multimedia system big screen uh visibility from the driver point of view it's perfect nothing to say i mean it's it's lovely uh and also the cockpit it's also this digital new cockpit from ford is not that customizable as you find it in uh, mercedes or in uh, volkswagen but it's simple you can see everything you need there the consumption uh, the information about the trip and the hybrid gauge and the graphics and you can go also in a few uh, more deep settings right here if you want to but overall it's simple you have all the information there uh, it's the way it should be I tell you they try to keep it simple and easy to use and just focus on the driving now the steering wheel it's something else it's a gorgeous steering wheel it's a sporty steering wheel it has these little holes and red stitches and beautiful grip amazing amazing quality love the size love the steering wheel also it has a nice shape down here then behind this talk you have a button that i forget to tell you in the test drive video you press this button and you activate the lane assist uh, the keep laning assist on and off then the cruise control and all other function for adaptive cruise control are here so they are very simple you just press this button and you activate and deactivate the cruise control it's very simple while you're driving also the volume is here on the right side you have the controllers uh, for the uh, voice command and a telephone and also you have the control for the cockpit so you can change different things and different views right there so overall very simple they try to keep it as simple as possible very easy to use and this is this is great also we have a handle here the quality on the roof it's relatively good uh, also you have a glass support up here another good thing uh, to see on the car then we have there some led lights i like that also sos button the lights and those are the controllers for the glass roof so let me show you you can open this glass roof guys as i tell you before super simple you open it half and you have that fresh air coming inside really useful and then you have also electrically this this protection light protection or however you want to call it it's also electrically and you can close it and open the way you want it so that's super super useful i like that here we have a big mirror with two lights no leds just normal bulb lights but they are fine and then you have this big huge mirror that allow you to have a great visibility in the back there because in the back you also have a big window so good visibility in the mirror right there great now guys let's go to the multimedia system i will have another video with the multimedia system but i will still go really fast on it you go to home on the home screen you have everything you need you have the navigation you have the radio and multimedia and you have your phone and then on the right side you have the settings the features and the uh, mobile app 
This is all you need to use in a car. You don't need more than that. You have the navigation, super improved, super nice, great view, much more responsive than what was before, I tell you. It's in terms of comparison, we cannot compare this multimedia system with the old Ford multimedia system. So I tell you, it's much faster, it's much nicer. You have even 3D view here. Um, it's, it's gorgeous, I tell you, it's really, really that good. I like it very, very much. I think it's, it's starting to be one of the best and it's such a big screen. You have lovely view from here. And let me go forward here. Um, you can set it very simple. You press those infos here. You have a lot of uh, infos, cancel the route. And then you can see even though when you set a route, for example, here you press go and you can see that it's loading like that fast. It has a new processor and it's gorgeous processor, gorgeous, gorgeous system. Great job, Ford. I like that. This is the way. Now you're coming from home. I love that multimedia. Now, next one, cockpit. I want to see a new, uh, better cockpit. Other than that, simple. Go to settings. On the settings, you have all the settings. Radio settings, add a telephone, navigation, sound settings here. Super simple, super intuitive. Even uh, people that even a person that didn't use too much those new technology can can get used with it really fast you go to vehicle you have all these settings for the vehicle right here uh, like the key like the windows wipers power lift gate lights lock mirrors all the settings are here you choose out of fold or not or wherever all the settings are here then you have the clock, general settings, language, you can change the language, the temperature units, the measure units, uh, you have also the tire pressure, everything. I mean, guys, it's so easy. Then here you have the mobile app, that means you um, turn on and off uh, the USB, the system update, uh, the valid mode for the system systems, vehicle hotspot and connectivity. It's that simple. Going back home, you have another features here. When you press these features, it gets you to the most important uh, vehicle settings like driving modes. You change the driving modes, you have the driver assistance systems, all that safety systems are here, like start stop, uh, rolling start stop. Ah, wait a second. Yeah. Great. I didn't expect that. Uh, then you have the traction control right here. You can activate this active from here. Speed limiter, lane keeping assist, pre-collision, sign recognizing, and then you have rear view mirror camera. And then the driver assistance system. Uh, and then you have the owner manual where you can see the manual right here. You don't need a paper manual these days. All the manuals are inside the cars. So that's a good thing. So overall, the last one is the mobile app where you can connect your Android phone or Apple phone wireless to the car. So great job. Love this multimedia. I will have a separate video how to connect your Android phone with the multimedia system and another one uh, I will explain you all the multimedia system. But overall, this is it guys. Close the engine. You have a nice graphic on the screen there. And that's all. This is all. So guys, I hope I cover everything. I hope you get all the information that you need about this new Ford Focus station wagon. I will do another review with the normal version, with the hatchback version and with the SD line version. And I try to bring you more and more detail about this new Ford Focus. If you want to see the car, if you are around Switzerland, check out Tehash Willy. The link will be in the description. Also, thank you very much for watching my video. I really appreciate that, guys. The rating for the car from one to 10 for this new Ford Focus will be 9.8, taking into consideration price and what the car offer technology it's a great deal in my opinion thank you for watching guys don't forget to check out the test drive and i guess i see you soon in the next one bye